What's up, guys? So another film that is split between the critics and the audiences. Now, look, I see myself as a film critic. I've been on YouTube for 10 years reviewing movies. So, yeah, I see myself as a film critic, not a professional film critic, but a film critic nonetheless. And look, when I saw the Super Mario Brothers movie, and if you've seen my review for it, it's up now in uh, yesterday's episode of The King's Corner, which is our weekly movie review show where we talk about all the new release films. It's very Siskel and Ebert type. I got a lot of inspiration from from their style of doing things. Um, so if you've seen my, my review for that, uh, you'll know that I was on the side that I loved it. I think the Super Mario Brothers movie is is exactly what an animated film should be. Now, I'm not saying this movie is perfect with with story or or anything like that, but it is it is everything an animated movie should be being that it has great characters, it's fun, it's entertaining, and it has heart and it's it's just fast-paced. I mean, it hits all cylinders really. The things that people didn't like about it I'm not too sure. I think th some people had problems that there was a lot of references in the movie. I mean, they're going through, you know, these these worlds. You're going to see a lot of references. So that didn't bother me personally. But, you know, I want to break it down uh, in a sense. You know, I'm not going to go like beat by beat for everything that happens in the movie because I've only seen it once. But generally, you know, this is why it really works for me. And this is a spoiler review of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, the film starts with the trailer scene where Bowser comes in and he takes the he takes the, the the super star from the Twitter birds. And I thought that was a great scene. We've seen it in the trailer. So, okay, it sets up the story instantly. Bowser is is coming for dominance. And he's coming for the Mushroom Kingdom. We meet Mario, we meet Luigi, they're Super Mario Bros, uh, they're plumbers, and I think that was great in New York, and you know, we see that they're not really getting a lot of business, but there's a commercial on the TV, they're not extremely popular, um, all that stuff, I really liked seeing them run through, uh, you know, Mario's kind of running, he's along the top, and Luigi's along the bottom, and, and they have to get from one point to another and it was just a side scroller but kind of a scene i thought that was great i thought that was extremely immersive i thought the whole thing was really extremely immersive and then we get home and we we see the family dynamic that they set up that i think was nice that they did that so guess what the father isn't really proud of these guys and he's not really proud of mario and he's not giving him any support so i thought that was really good they see on the commercial on tv first of all he's playing the nes in his bedroom and i just thought that was the coolest thing. I mean, this is this is a Nintendo movie, so sure, let's see a Nintendo, let's see an NES in the movie, let's see Mario play an NES. I love that personally. Um, they see the commercial on TV. Um, they need help. There's there's the the pipes are going everywhere. The sewage, whatever it is, water blasting everywhere. So they go into the into the into the sewer. One thing leads to another, and there's a bunch of pipes. And guess what? Luigi, Mario, they get sucked into the Nintendo world, as I call it. The, the Mushroom Kingdom, the land of the, the Nintendo characters, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's where we get sucked into. Luigi gets sucked to more of a scarier place. And Mario gets sucked to more of a happier, peaceful place with the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, sets up a lot of great sequence. I love the sequence that Luigi's kind of fighting these skeleton things. I thought that was really funny and entertaining and visually appealing. Uh, he gets captured. He's taken to Bowser at the same time. Mario's getting introduced to Toad. He's going through the Mushroom Kingdom. He's got to go into the tower to meet the princess at the top. I, I thought that was really fun. You know, he, he, he meets her. There's the a great opening scene with Princess Peach about they're talking about what's going on. You know, she she comes out, she walks out, Mario's running, and I, he goes to slow motion, and he, I just I thought it was so funny and so I don't know, I just thought it was so charming and so likable. Uh, to where she stops him in his tracks and and they talk a little bit, and, and she says, "Look, you gotta you gotta do this this little you know track this little obstacle course I've set up almost." 
Uh, and if you can do it, then we'll, 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 we're, we're going to work together. Because she sees instantly that he has heart. And I like that. So this is a great sequence. Even though some people might not like that there was like a song choice instead of like score. I didn't mind it. The song, um, I Need a Hero. Was it used better in Shrek 2 when Jennifer Saunders sang it? Yeah, absolutely. But it's in this movie. And he's he's running. He's, he's getting it. He's using the power-ups. And he almost succeeds. And then he doesn't. Which I thought was funny. You know, how he, how he just gets blasted out. Uh, but she says, you know what, y you almost did it. Nobody else could do that. We're, we're going to go. We're going to go on this mission. So they go to try to get to the Kongs, the Donkey Kong people, for help for this fight against Bowser. And we meet Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong's father, you know, the journey to, to Donkey Kong land or whatever you want to call it. I thought that was great. The scene in the trailer, Mario versus Donkey Kong, Great scene. I mean, there's just great scene after great scene in this film. I mean, I just, I found it so enthralling and so likable. And just so, so immersive. I was so immersed into this movie. I mean, up until this point, I really didn't really have a lot of gripes with it or nitpicks or negatives with it. It's too, when we get to, in a couple minutes, so, you know, Luigi, he's with Bowser. Bowser's singing about Peach, which I thought was great. Jack Black is singing, Peaches, 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 Peaches. You know, that was hilarious. Probably one of my favorite parts of the movie. It was so funny. Um, so it's like, okay, Mushroom Kingdom, we're going to go, yada, yada, yada. So what's going on with, with Bowser and Luigi? Not as much as the journey that Mario is going on. So didn't mind that. Um, so we do the Donkey Kong thing. We say, okay, we, we're going to get back to the Mushroom Kingdom because Bowser is going to be there fast. How are we going to get there? We're going to use the Mario Karts. I thought it was an excellent use of the Mario Karts. They, they, they make their own carts. I thought that was fun. And then we go on the Rainbow Road. I thought this was an incredible sequence. So fun. I love the cinematography of the, se the sequence and all of it and how the sequence ends. Okay, so this is the point of the film that starts to, that I started to have like issues with. And I thought it got a little sloppy. So, uh, I don't remember if they all got captured or they all went back to Mushroom Kingdom. I think they just all went back to Mushroom Kingdom. Um, but regardless, Mario and Donkey Kong, they fall into the ocean and they get eaten by a whale. And in my review, I said, well, this was very Finding Nemo-like. You know, it's like, okay, Marlon and Dory, guess what? They're going to get eaten by a whale and, and they're going to have a really sweet conversation. They're going to get out of there. Uh, this is basically the dollar store version of that. Mario and Donkey Kong, they're in there for a minute, and then they start the the one cart, and it blasts them out. You know, I, I, I don't know why that was in the movie. It didn't need to be in the movie. They didn't even need to get separated from the group, to be honest with you. They could have written it a, a different way, but it is what it is. So then they get back, and as they're coming back, Peaches, uh, Peaches you know, uh, Bowser, he's at the Mushroom Kingdom. He says, hey, blah, 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 will you marry me? If you don't, I'm going to gonna destroy your land. And she says no at first, and then she starts torturing, he starts torturing the toad, and she doesn't want that to happen. She says, fine, I'll marry you. Now, at first, I thought, well, that's not really a strong character choice, is it? <laughs> but we'll see how they write it. So it turns out that she had an alternative motive that... Uh, she was going to do whatever to get some sort of power up and, and, and stop Bowser and save and save Toad and all the people. So I thought that was okay. You know, uh, we're going to set up this whole marriage scene uh, for nothing, really. I mean, it just, it, it didn't really go anywhere. I didn't really find any comedic uh, elements from it. Uh, so that happens. Mario comes back. And this is the big fight sequence. I didn't mind the fight sequence, but once it ends, and what what was chasing him at the end of the movie? Is it a dragon? I don't remember. I don't remember. But the thing that's that's chasing him, and and he and he distracts to go into the pipe, and then the pipe blasts him to to New York. So this is where I thought it was really starting to get really sloppy. Was okay. So you set up all this stuff with the parents. And and everything with the parents and, and how the father is not proud of Mario and all this. 
And how are we going to take this back to that? How are we going to take all the stuff with Bowser and Peach and the parents, all that, how are we going to connect it? And how are we going to finish it? Oh, I know. We're just going to shoot everything back to New York, and we're going to have our final fight there. Which kind of reminded me of like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, the first one, at the end of it, where they're, they're, in, the, they're in the street, and they're fighting in the street. It was similar to that. I don't know. I guess similar vibes. But uh, the, the fight itself, I thought, was okay. How Mario ultimately beats Bowser. I, I enjoyed that scene. I enjoyed the way it was done. But where it was done, in, in New York. Um, and how the parents come up on the, on the, on the thing and, and they're all hugging. And it's like, oh, yay, you know, who are these people? Oh, I don't know, but they're here. And, you know, they just killed this big thing. So that was a little sloppy for me. But I liked it. I was still entertained by it. But that doesn't make this like a perfect movie for me. It makes it a very entertaining film for me, though. But overall, it's a great film. I think overall, like the first and the second act of it are so strong that the third act has its problems. But it's still like, wow, this is a very entertaining movie. Uh, and the thing is, you know, the the pipes they go from straight to 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 New York to M- Mushroom Kingdom. I'm thinking because Peach, is set, Peach says in the middle of the film, there's so many infinite galaxies and in all this. So why would the pipe just have a, a point A and a point B? I mean, you would think that, that the, the portal that they get sucked into, I mean, it could blast them anywhere. So I just thought it was a little strange how when the, when the thing gets blasted to New York at the end of the movie, it could have got blasted anywhere. Why did it have to be New York? I mean, that's the pipe that Mario got here on. I get it, but I mean, is it always going to be the same, like to and from? That was a little questionable for me. And at the end of the film, we see that they're in Mushroom Kingdom. They're repairing stuff. They're being they're being plumbers. They're being fixers. Whatever they're being, and then they jump into the to the green pipe, and the movie ends. So they jump into the green pipe which I would assume is going to take them back to New York. So it is a point A to point B, but I thought that was a little strange because if you have infinite galaxies, why is, I mean, is there other pipes that are going to take you different places? That was just a little questionable to, to me that they didn't really answer. But that's the movie overall, and I thought it was great. I thought it was entertaining. I love the, the back and forth between Mario and Luigi. I love how he calls them Lou. It just seems so real. I love their dynamic. I love all the characters' dynamic, Jack Jack Black is fantastic as Bowser. I want a Bowser action figure. He's so good in the movie. And, you know, then you get the, the first credit scene where he's singing again about Peaches, but he's this tiny little Bowser. So I thought that was funny. And, uh, and then the final credit scene is a, is a tease of Yoshi for the second movie. So we'll see what happens with that. But overall, very fun. Very fun. And I didn't even mention when, when Luigi's in the pr- the prison hanging above the, the lava or whatever, there's that little spirit in there, the little star spirit or whatever, whatever it was, which was basically begging for death, but, but really calm about it and really happy with it. I thought that was a little comical as well. It was kind of funny. But, you know, overall, I thought this was a great movie. I thought it was so fun, so entertaining, so immersive, and I would watch this again and again. I mean, this is one of the best films of 2023 so far. It's not the best movie of the year so far. If you want to know what the best movie of the year so far, check out the same episode of The King's Corner where we review the Super Mario Brothers movie. What's the movie we talked about after that? It's Ben Affleck's Air. If anybody's curious about how that was, that I think is the best movie of the year so far. Check that uh, video out. Watch my review. Uh and definitely go see it. It's definitely worth your time. But yeah, that's that's that. So guys, comment down below. Do you plan on seeing this? Did you see it? It's going to make a boatload of money, and I think it deserves it. I think it's such a fun, great animated movie with a great score by Brian Tyler. And just it was, I just loved it. I loved it. It has its problems at the end, sure, but overall, I love this movie. Totally. I really loved it. So that's where I'm at with that. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at RyanKing72 and on Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. That's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my spoiler review for the Super Mario Bros. movie. And until next time, over and out.